Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% completion slash collectibles guide for the 10th mission of Doom Eternal, Necrovol. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these videos before, essentially I run through the mission quickly, um, getting all of the collectibles, doing all of the encounters and showing you how to do all of the challenges. Uh, there are three challenges in this mission. For once, they aren't actually collectible related, or none of them are. Uh, there's Die by the Sword for killing two demons with the Crucible, which is the, uh, the weapon we just got in the previous mission, the Red Sword. Uh, tricks and Traps for killing eight demons using Crusher Traps. They are, uh, we're going to see those later on. Essentially they're just, uh, as they say, Crusher Traps. Spike Traps that crush enemies and kill them in one go. We'll be using those a lot anyway. And then finally, the Doom Hunt for performing a left side glory kill on the doom hunter it does say the doom hunter but there are two of them so you do get two attempts at it uh, behind us here will have been um a kaka demon but i've already killed it so just watch out for him but there and then we're going to run and jump in here there's lots of jumping and lots of climbing or there seems like there is so you see there i've just uh, skipped that fight so we uh, if they're not essential if they're not a special encounter or secret encounter should i say or well, there's no tips that I can give you, then uh, it's just a standard fight, and I'll be skipping past them. As always, there are timestamps in the description for um, all the collectibles and all the encounters. So if you want to skip to a specific part, you can find that down there. Um, I always show the extra lives as well. They are ne not needed for completion or trophies or anything. Well, they are actually needed for one trophy. You need to have ten by the end of the game. But that is not something we're doing here. Here's the first time I'm going to use the Crucible. I would advise you do so as well. You should have a one or two, maybe three ammo like I had from the end of the previous mission because there was a bunch of it at the end. Um, so hopefully, yeah, there's certain instances you want to use the Crucible. Don't just use it randomly because uh, ammo is quite sparse. Uh, there are two on this mission. I will show you both uh, where both of them are uh, and which encounters you should use it on. So yeah, use it on that one because that guy can be pretty tough and it just makes short work of any enemy. We're going to try and jump up here. This is quite a difficult jump. So you want to jump and then move out to the right to boost left. <laughs> and then we're going to have to jump away again and then jump up and up here. It's quite a tricky jump but you've uh, got more than enough chance to just keep trying it. And we're going to go in here and get the Baron of Hell toy which is... Uh, a coincidence I suppose because we're about to go and kill a Baron of Hell down here and get the Die by the Sword challenge done don't worry if you don't do it yet uh, like I said I'm going to show you where two instances of uh, Crucible ammo are so yes there we go that's him done and I'm going to get the challenge done so that's out of the way for me I will use the uh, sword again later on because it's just easier for certain enemies um, so at the moment we're just going to be moving forward here is a little puzzle there's a, this target here on the wall you need to shoot this to gain entry to this gate and then you need to shoot shoot at the target again and then quickly hit this block to the side to uh, jump up this block is on a timer so it will go back in you can see there it's moving and then we're going to move to uh, it's kind of a mini boss fight that we're going to do here I'm just going to skip past this train section you know, drop out here uh, this boss has um, these eyes. Four of these eyes will keep getting exposed with uh, in a rotation. Uh, essentially, just shoot the eyes until they blow up, which you're going to see happen there. And then, uh, once you've killed the first one, these platforms are going to start moving. I'd advise going to right near the back. There's a, a medi kit. This platform at the back here doesn't move. Some of the the brown caca demons, I forget their name. They're going to appear, just kill those with rockets, and just kill the four eyes, or shoot the four eyes, blow them up, and then it's going to expose this uh, Krang looking thing here, going to hit it and uh, break our way, and that's how we move forward. Before that though, I'm just going to just fill up with um, health and armor, there's one on each side of the, uh, the Krang guy here. <laughs> On these flame, you want to be careful because this is uh, the flames will appear and get you. And then we're going to jump up, and get a prey to suit point. Really obvious one because you just need to go to the right and it's just around the corner. 
There is the first spike trap that we're going to use. I'm going to get this done really quickly here, these 8 kills with uh, crusher traps. Very, very handy in this mission. Um, so you hit these green whenever you see one of these. That will activate it. So you can see there's three free ones here. And they're gone. And then run up the stairs here to the right. And then straight away hit the switch. And boom. There we go. That's at least eight. So you can just keep doing it. Shoot it from a distance or whatever. Unfortunately I missed there. I would have got that um, this uh, spectre. But I'm going to have to kill him the old fashioned way. That was supposed to be a grenade. There we go. Done. And at the back is going to be a mastery token. These are the new ones. They started in the previous mission, these collectibles. They essentially make you allow you to skip the mastery section of a, a weapon upgrade. Um, they are limited, so you want to work on upgrades that you think you can do and use them sparingly. Here we're going to drop off backwards. When, that's where you're supposed to go. You're supposed to jump forward. We're going to drop off backwards, jump, and then dash to get under here. And this is where the... Um, first special in, uh, secret encounter is very easy compared to some of the others uh, I did want rockets but I don't have any but I remembered a little guy does spawn here so hit him with a chainsaw get some rockets and then just blast this guy with a lock on and that will kill him and we're done nice and easy very easy compared to some of the secret encounters we've had to do and on the way out here we are going to just get this toy which is the gladiator turn around this door is going to open up and we're going to be back where we got the uh, the suit point we're just going to get the uh, the auto map we're going to jump up and that's where we started off so we've basically come full circle here allowing us just to move on so there's going to be a big fight in a moment um, this is another good place to use the uh, the sword the crucible if you have one I'm going to just show you quickly I'm going to do run up here and show you what we have here we have some bfg ammo uh, i will collect that later i'm full at the moment so i can't actually pick it up but there is another crusher trap up here and you can use this to uh to kill enemies if you want but don't stay up here too long because a um let me think of the name an arc vial hint this guy here he's going to appear you need to kill him as quickly as possible unfortunately for me he takes two bfg shots um but you just, it's worth it. You don't want him hanging around. He's going to make more enemies spawn. So kill him as quickly as possible and then make your way back up. Uh, we're going to leave. So I can now pick this BFG ammo up. So I'm not too bothered about using two on him. But hopefully you can do it with just the one. Uh, I think it's because he brought his shield up. But that's the, uh, the move you need to stop. So now we'll get this BFG ammo. And then we're going to make our way forward. Very quick mission this one. Uh, it feels like a uh, old doom with a we're in hell almost. It's uh, going back to its roots because uh, a lot of this game has been on Earth, which has been a nice change. Don't get me wrong. Once we're up here, we're going to go left. Some enemies will have spawned on the stairs there, but obviously I, you saw me. I've cut them out. Um, nothing too taxing. And then we have a lovely river of blood. This is pretty bad. That is just horrible. <laughs> and then we're going to jump over here. And this spinning fire. Stay high and just watch out for the fire. It's fairly simple this bit. And just dash across. And we're going to take the lift up. One of these. You want to jump off though. Otherwise you're going to get crushed. And there we go. There's some more traps here. Directly to the right of this first trap underneath it is going to be a secret area which has the Doom Hunter toy. So that's a Doom Hunter if you were wondering. We're going to have two of those right at the end for the Doom Hunt challenge. Um, so yeah, show you this fight quickly. There's a buff totem which is what the thing that turns them red. Quickly run up here, make your way around to the totem. Ignore all the enemies. Grab this, break the totem. And then run back the way you came through the crusher. And you won't have to kill any enemies whatsoever. Very nice encounter. Very easily. And you can just get your 8 here as well. This is an easy place just to get the 8 kills. You can just see them all getting crushed. I have no idea how that fireball came through. We've got one lucky one. 
but he gets a chainsaw to the abdomen. There we go. And that's that encounter done. Simple. So we've got to do some more platforming. I'm just going to take this last one down. And then to the left is going to be the first switch. We need to hit two switches to open this main door here. But they're also going to open the door to the secret encounter as well. Uh, and allow us access to that. So you jump up here for the first one. Uh, first, when I came up here, I thought this gate behind me was going to open for the secret, but it doesn't. You do have to go the, all the way around through the crusher traps again. Uh, we're just going to open this second uh, switch up first. So once you go through here, there is going to be a marauder to the left. It's the guy with the axe that blocks all your attacks. There he is. We're going to skip it. You've fought plenty of those by now. Uh, I tried using the Crucible on one of those. It doesn't seem to work, so don't waste your time with that. Uh, maybe I just got the timing wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was open. He was staggered from the first shotgun blast, and it still didn't work. So don't waste your time with it. But here is another bit of Crucible ammo. There's one more in the last area, the last fight. So there are two, so you can get the challenge done on this um, on this mission without having to bring any with you, essentially. Here's a codex, only two codex in this one. And we're going to hit this last switch. And then we're going to go and do the secret encounter two of two. That is back where we started the cr first set of crusher traps over here. We're going to go back through here and through the gate on the right, and it's going to be a secret encounter. There is going to be one of those big guys, the um, the name is eluding me, Baron of Hell, he's going to appear, so it is a great time to use your Crucible. Get rid of these three, because these are part of the secret encounter, and if you forget to kill them, it's going to be a problem. So I use I used two ammo there by accident, I think. Uh, it's because I did a swing and he pushed me back, so that was a bit unfortunate. But never mind. And there we go, and we're back where we started. This is just the only album. This is the only album, uh, and this. Now we're going to move into the final area of this mission. There's a BFG ammo directly ahead of you, and you want to use this. Preferably, don't do it like this. I get stuck. Obviously, the BFG ammo needs to travel, um, and it doesn't. So I do it this way. And yeah, I had to use two. But use one there just to get rid of all the first guys. And then you want to wait for the um, the Doom Hunters to turn up. These these guys, there are two of them. I accidentally killed the first one, otherwise I would have showed you with him. Uh, you don't want to over damage them because you can accidentally kill them. And you'll have to restart the mission to come back and do this challenge if you do. But you want to break him down. Take him down, get him off his flying green... Uh, this green goblin contraption and eluded me then, I couldn't think of the name. Um, you want to just be chipping at him. I always use the machine gun if I want to chip damage uh, and slowly just try and get somebody into that state because you don't want to overkill, uh, over damage them and kill them. Um, the challenge says perform a left side glory kill. That is his left side. So go to his left side and then perform the glory kill to get it there. And that is the challenges done. Like I said, there are two of them in this area, but so you get two chances um, if you don't accidentally kill the first one like I did. Now there's just a couple of things here. There's going to be crucible ammo. It's in the middle there. I should be using the teleport. I know one. <laughs> there's a teleport right underneath it. Uh, not a teleport. A, a air burst thing. I use the dash here. Just an extra life and a Praetor coin. And then, not a coin, pray to point. I always want to call them coins because they're shaped like coins. But you know what I mean, the pray to point. And that's this mission done. We are all done. All we've got, all we've got to do is push the statue and jump down the hole. And that is this one done. So, uh, yeah, we've got all the encounters done. Everything is done, all challenges. So I'm going to get out of here. At the end, I'm going to show you, uh, like always, the, the, the end screen. Everything's going to get ticked off. You'll see everything done. Uh, right, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.